Good evening, lady and gentlemen. Welcome back to the ever so amazing goddamn game lounge. Yes, indeed. Thanks so much for tuning into the game lounge tonight, guys. Happy Thursday. Shout out to today's Thursday. Hope you all had a good day. And for your viewing pleasure, today I said I would do Street Fighter on the game lounge for you. So I definitely wanted to kind of get in this uh, classic arcade genre we call fighting. And to be honest, I thought about it. I did Third Strike last time. But this time, I'm doing an old one. I'm going to do Street Fighter 2. Now, that's nostalgic as hell. Shout out to Capcom, because Capcom made us... Oh, sorry. Because Capcom made us a whole bunch of just fire-ass games back in the day. Uh, one of the titles being this one. Another fighting game being um, Final Fight. Shout out to Final Fight. And they just did a really good job with just making fighting games like beat em ups and stuff like that. They did a really good job. Oh shit. So, whoever's played the classic Street Fighter knows that this is probably the hardest version of Street Fighter to, to beat because of the fact that the controls were just so like old school. Like it was crazy. But it was a classic for me on the Super Nintendo. I definitely, oh, I might lose this round. Oh, dang it. Come on. Ah. Hit him with a Hadouk. It's hard to do it on these controllers. Yeah. Thank God. Almost didn't make it. Yeah, so. <clears throat> I found out about Street Fighter from my older brothers and stuff like that. Playing with them and everything. And we had the Super Nintendo in the room. And we would play games like this and Street Fighter. And oh, damn. So like I was saying, we was playing Street Fighter and stuff like that. And we wind up having this too. But we had Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which I still had that game collection to this day. I still have the physical copies of the, um, of the, um, Super Nintendo titles themselves. Chun-Li was always a problem too. She could jump off the fucking walls and everything. Um, but yeah, so when I had wound up playing this Street Fighter back in the day, I was amazed by how they wind up having, um, damn, she got mad close. They wind up having these characters that were able to shoot hand blast and do these spin kicks and shit or the, these big jump uppercuts or whatever. And I was like, nah, this shit is type dope. And then when I got, when I, I was too young to really know how to do any of the moves, so I didn't really play it till I got to like my teenage years. And then when I got there... It was over. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to play this now. This shit is dope. Yeah, the uppercuts work real well when you keep jumping in the goddamn air like that. <laughs> but, yeah, the, um, it was really hard to play as a kid because I didn't know how to do the button inputs. When I got older, I learned how to, like, do the uh, Hadouken and stuff and um, all the other moves and everything. The spin kick is called the Tetsumaki Seppukyak. And I don't care what nobody says. Everybody was like, "But the Dugan!" When they wind up hearing that noise, because that's what it sounded like he did. Nobody said Tetsumaki Zipukiak when the kick happened. It was, it was like, "But the Dugan!" That's all you did. I don't even mind losing, because that's exactly how I felt. She put the Dugan. <laughs> that's what you said. I don't care what nobody says. Um, before Akuma came out, like in Street Fighter Alpha and shit, or I think he came out in the, the older versions. I don't remember exactly. But before he came out, I was a huge fan of Zangief. Zangief was, you know, he was that dude. Ah, you keep stepping on my head. Zangief was that dude. And he, uh, he wound up having, like, this spinning pile driver move that I was like, yo, that shit is so fire. Damn, I lost. Sorry. It's been a while since I played. You know I'm continuing. Yeah. Oh, I'm keep, I gotta keep it with Ken because if I change up, I think I'll reset my fighting thing and I won't fight Chun-Li, so I gotta do this right. Um, Zangief, yeah, I was talking about Zangief. Zangief wind up having that spinning power driver move and I was like, nah, that shit is dope. It was hard to do because you had to like press all four directions. You had to do like a circle on the control pad. Mind you, this shit is hard as hell on your fingers. You gotta push down and make sure it works. Then I had one of those controllers that you had to put extra energy onto in order for it to work. Hell no. I was getting away with that bitch. 
Yeah, so my the controller I had when I was a kid was like a pretty hard controller to play with. But um, I eventually learned how to do it. And now I do it when I get the chance. And as you can see, I learned the moves. As long as the moves would connect. Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Uppercut. There we go. I know I'm spamming that uppercut right now, y'all, yeah, but that kind of worked. And anytime I was a kid, I always played with, like, the heavy punches. I don't know why, but it always worked out for me. My mom told me not to hit women, but you entered a fighting contest. I'm punching the fuck out of you. <laughs> oh, speaking of the devil. Hey, big guy, what's up? And he would do the spin lariat move and shit and avoid Hadouken sometimes. He was a bad motherfucker. Right now, the difficulty gotta be low, because he would be whooping my ass right now if it was the right difficulty. Ah, shit. Get away from me. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh. And when you win, you felt like the man. Look at my man in the background drinking, like right next to the word bonus. He's just guzzling a bottle. Like, he has nothing else better to do. He's not going to work tomorrow. <laughs> I called out to be seeing fight by man with arms. Ah, I know that shit hurt. The movies were pretty good too. The Street Fighter movies, they were like, yeah. The animated ones were the best. Like there was this one, there was a snippet of one I seen recently. And um, Ryu has this inner hidden power that, damn, good shit. Oh, I'm about to say you got me. You got me, boy. But no, um, in one of the animated movies, Ryu had this, uh, I know he wasn't dizzy yet. Ryu has the hidden ability within him called the Satsui no Hado. And it allows him to be able to like tap into a darker power, kind of like Akuma, but it doesn't allow him. But he's got strong will, so he still kind of fights it. I beat the fuck out you. I'm sorry, sir. I love you, though, Zangief. You're my boy. Oh, this level was annoying. But yeah, so. I gotta jump over to the other side. Okay, that leg move over. Two piece to shit out this car. Two piece to shit out this car. Did you ask for a two piece car? Cause that's all I got. Oh shit. I'm selling two pieces. Ah, damn it. <laughs> He's looking at the screen like, so you're not gonna finish the rest of the car? Just gonna leave the car like that? Somebody has to come back to that car. I know. We, we don't have to worry about him. Yo, Ryu looks mad Indian here. <laughs> Would you like to have to go get? <laughs> Um, I forgot where I was with my story. Yeah, so, um, oh yeah, Satsui no Hado, we were talking about Ryu, speaking of the devil as well. Um, so, he has his dark side, and he was going up against a character that was first introduced in Street Fighter 4, her name is Crimson Viper, and that's like the girl with the jetpack boots and like the rocket, uh, the electric, the rocket boots and the electric, uh, like, brass knuckles or whatever the fuck she was wearing. I know, if I get close, he's gonna wind up just uppercutting my shit. Damn, I was so close. You have gotten lucky. Hold on. Okay. Mike's facing the right way. Let's try this again. Good. Ah. Wait, how did I do that move? Yeah, so, but it showed a really good example of how the TV, I mean, how the video game looks and stuff like that. Like, it's a lot better than the real live versions. Like certain animated cartoon shows and stuff like that don't deserve to be brought into a real aspect because it just suits it better as a cartoon. I mean, yeah, as a cartoon, exactly. You got it, man, you got it. I'm gonna try again, though. Hell yeah, I'm gonna try again. Let's try this again. Nope. And that's all he does. Ah, shit. <laughs> I said that's all he does, and then he breaks up with the... <laughs> Damn. He's so chill with it. Like, that's what's so annoying. Like... My man, crack a smile or something. 
I remember these being a gory ones too back in the day. If you catch it, if y'all rewind it at some point, if you see an uppercut, you'll see some brown fluid drop out of their face. That's them throwing up because of how hard they're hitting each other. That's something I missed when I was back as a kid. I was like, nah, what was that brown stuff? I'm like, nah, you had to spit up root beer? No one damn well he's not drinking root beer in the middle of a fight. I should have threw him, damn. Why would I jump? I'm still thinking this is like the new version of uh, Street Fighter, which allows you to be able to, um, so you can niggle, which allows you to uh, auto dodge and auto dodge. <laughs> Auto really? He auto no. <laughs> Shout out to Hobbs. Anyway, um, allows you to auto guard. Sorry. All right, this one takes all the cake. You sir deserve this. Nope. Oh, nice punch. Fuck. Damn. Come on now. You know how to fight or something? Ah, damn. That combo always does it, too. Good shit. Well played, my boy. Well played. I'm gonna give it one more shot, though. Just because Ryu is somebody that I would like to defeat. Even if I don't beat nobody else, like Ryu just has to get fucked up. He has to. You're the face of Street Fighter. I cannot press quit yet. Why are there veins on the word versus? It's sus. <laughs> Hard versus? Explain yourself. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's why I don't be wanting him in the corner because he'll just keep playing the wall. And then he'll just stand there. Like, bro, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, Jesus Christ. Bro, what do you want? He's so chill with it. Now, I could play an offensive defense and have him come to me, but then he'll just do the grab, and then I gotta figure out what punch he do afterwards. Like, I gotta telegraph shit. Great. Blah. Ah, and I saw that coming. Jesus Christ. Good job, Ryu. Ah, meant to do that kick. This is always a hard proof for me, too, when it came to... Oh, see that orange fluid? I might get knocked out, but I knocked some orange fluid out your face, kid. Yucky. All right. I don't keep repetitively doing this. Definitely thank you guys so much for tuning into the Game Lounge. Might have went about getting my ass whooped. But all is well. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Any game ideas you might have, please send them to me. I definitely would love to try them out. Um, if I pick this back up, then I definitely will upload it from this point on. But until next time, game it to you sleep, guys. I do it!